We are overloaded with information, but this does not make us wiser. Research shows that from the ocean of information, we pick up those that support our opinions, not those that expand our horizon. How to create an intelligent content filtering system? How to learn to perpetuate what is valuable and let go of thought and imaginary trash? How to let oneself to get seduced by a healthy narrative dramaturgy? Philosophical schools of antiquity have designed many effective practices. Stoics, for example, worked towards mastering inner dialogue, the rush of thoughts, the clutter of frozen fragments of the past, the black scenarios for the future, that we suck in uncritically from the world. They employed thought experiments, enhancing inner images, repetition of stoic formulas. They kept diaries with personal notes, which worked on them therapeutically. This is how one of the most thrilling works of antique philosophy, the Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, was created. They observed nature with the curiosity of a modern scientist, but they did not set themselves apart from it. Yes, the brain plays simulation films in its frontal lobe areas, which we take for reality. But we can write scripts for the films. Well, at least we can write some scenes. Here is a scene written by Marcus Aurelius, so employ your imagination. If you want to talk about people, you need to look down on the earth from above. Herds, armies, farms, weddings, divorces, births, deaths, noisy courtrooms, desert places, all the foreign peoples, holidays, days of mourning, market days, all mixed together, a harmony of opposites. Such mini contemplation could immediately bring us relief, relax our mental and physical tension and facilitate access to ataraxia. When we move our point of view high above human affairs, it turns out that what for us, the little ants, was a mother of life and death, may, in fact, be a trivia. Notes on a good life were written by Marcus Aurelius and Leonardo da Vinci, also by Montaigne, Pascal and many other philosophers who cared about the quality of their mental landscape, even when there was no overload of information, as we experience today. These notes may include repeating autotherapeutic truths, description of experiments with life, conclusions from philosophical interventions, in short, everything that works. At the Appenine School of Living Philosophy, we discover the rules of such writing. Effective training in narrative dramaturgy leaves us with developed healthy habits. I'm walking down the street, and whenever a story is going to steal my mindfulness, draw me into its emotional landscape, and then spit out to the world of things with a psychophysical state I cannot foresee, I remember a quick rehearsed formula. Here is one of Marcus Aurelius' formulas. Discard your misperceptions. Stop being like a puppet to your impulses. Limit yourself to the present.